an event like this is all the ideas and the notions that there are scoops in an event like this just go out the window. Everybody's going to get the same information at the same time. So the question is, is are you going to uh, try and take advantage of the subjects and the listeners in order to uh, grab eyes and ears? Or are you going to uh, basically not further erode the public's trust in journalism? I mean, there's no glory to an event like this. Um, Woodward and Bernstein did not get famous covering a shooting, thank God. I think it goes deep into what we want to be as journalists and who we want to be as journalists. The what part is what function do we want to serve in society? And I hate to say this, but I don't want to make it clear. I'm not equating the, the tragedy that happened there with what happens at a state house. But it's very similar in some ways because you have a lot of people fighting for the same information, or maybe not even fighting, maybe, you know, whatever, just trying to get the same information and trying to get something different. Well, the truth is, is that you are not going to get something different in front of everybody. So one of the first rules I have is go where others aren't, right? If I see everybody's hanging outside in, in regards to this, I saw a lot of journalists hanging outside waiting for the next um, press briefing to happen and they're, they're drinking coffee and they're looking on their iPhones and that's cool, like good for them. But I was like, I wanna go check out where the guns came from and I wanna make this clear. It, it, there were other people who, who thought this too. But in that time that everybody else, that most people were, especially most English speaking press, were just hanging out waiting for the next line of information to be found, I was able to track the shop who sold this dude five of the guns.